all right so let's do an ls to take a look at the file again there's a file what we are going to do next is to perform quality control so with the quality control we are going to do three things here we are first going to assess the quality of the raw reads which can be found in this file and then we are going to filter the reads and after filtering we are going to assess the quality of the file that we get after filtering the filtered which we are going to assess the quality and then we are going to compare pre and then post filter so i mean that we are going to compare the raw reads to what we are going to get after filtering so that's what we are going to do next so let's first create a qc report output directory so i'll say make the you see underscore reports yes perfect so now what i'm going to do next is to assess the quality of the raw reads and so i am going to use nano plots so to use nano plot to assess the quality we say nano plots we call it and then we specify our first scale which is this one so we have indicated the name and then we also need to specify this flag to show the n50 mark so i'll say dash dash n50 now say dash o now say qc underscore report slash and then i'll paste the same sample name there like this and this time i'll say underscore raw this is because we are going to filter the reads and then we are also going to perform qc so i want to differentiate between the qc report for the raw reads and then the filtered ones i will do that later all right so let's execute this command okay so this command when i executed it took about one minute so you should also I monitor the time it will take maybe around the same time to complete so let's wait for everything to get done for us all right qc has been performed so let's do an ls we are going to find our directory here this is what we created first and inside it we have the results so i'll say ls qc underscore reports and then I'm going to see this directory. So this directory has the output files. So I'll do ls again qc underscore reports slash dir etc. And I'll display the content. So I have them here. So we have plots. We have HTML files. We also have text files. So we are going to look at some of them quickly and then proceed. So I'll do that using my file manager. all right so these are the output files so we have images we also have html files and we also have text files so i'm going to focus on just these two files this and this so this this one has the summary so you can open it with any text file editor so that's it so we have some summary here and then this one this one has this file here let me just go over and this file here has all the reports in a single HTML file including the figures here or the plot so you can also open it with your browser like this and you see all of them there so you can do that and also do some comparison now for this tutorial i'll focus on just this summary here um i'll make tutorials later on which goes into details with the qc reports but for now let's take a look at just the summary so the summary here gives you an overview of your data so we have let me just enlarge it a bit if it's over yeah so we have general summary mean read length mean read quality median read length read quality median etc so it goes on in that order we also have top five highest mean base core quality scores and their real we also have 
top five longest reads and their mean base quality score so these things give you an overview of your data so it can help you to get um, the average of your or let's just it can give, give you an idea of the length of your reads and also the quality so with the long reads data if you're comparing to short reads you realize that the long reads are of lower quality than the short reads which is to be expected that is what happens by the way and so you shouldn't be surprised if you call if you compare this to some short read sequences this one will have lower quality and this is where the other step come in so what we are going to do next is to filter the reads and then hopefully we should see some improvements we are going to do that and we are going to compare so after filtering the reads we are going to perform the qc again and we are going to compare the metrics here the summary here or the metrics here. we are going to compare the one for the raw data that the raw reads that's what we are looking at you compare with the filtered reads that's what we are going to do next so that's what we'll do so with that we'll still use nanoplot so the guys tutorial also did it here by the way so what we are going to do is to check and then uh, just um, do something similar so all the results are here by the way but we are going to do the command line version as well and then compare to see if we have a similar observation so that's what we are going to do next so let's go back to the terminal so let's clear the screen and continue all right so let's do an ls to look at the file again so we have it here so what we are going to do next is to filter the reads so we are going to remove reads with lengths shorter than 1000 bp so we have the instructions here let's go back to the galaxy page yeah so we are going to use this tool felt long we have already installed it by the way so from the instructions here we have minimum length that's thousand so what we are going to do is to run felt long and then also specify the main length and then but long will remove all reads that have their length shorter than thousand base space. So let's go back to the command line. All right, so we will call first long now. So I'll say foot long, and then I'll say dash dash main underscore length and i'll say thousand and then i'll specify the raw file and then i'll indicate this so this one we are going to ask for this to a file now see i'll indicate the file name again so it's dir187567 let's just make sure that is it so we have dir187567 and then i will see dot filtered dot askew so we want to differentiate this new file from the old one so that is why here i have dot filtered so the dot filtered is also a description so even if someone is not involved in the process once the person sees this thing, the person will have an idea that there was some filtering done. So that's why it's good to have a good naming convention. All right. So let's execute this command to filter the reads. All right. Filtering has been done. So let's do an ls. And we are going to find that file also here. So this is the new file, the filtered reads. So what we are going to do next is to assess the quality of the new data we have, the filtered reads. So we will use nanoplot again. So it's the same command, but this time we are going to use this file. So we will call nanoplot now. So to assess the quality of your data, 
the fascicle file that we have the long width file you will see nano plot and then you will see dash dash fascicle and then we indicate the fascicle so it's going to be this file so I'll say DRR dot filtered dot first kill and then i am also going to indicate a flag which shows the n50 mark so i'll say dash dash n50 and then i'll indicate an output so i'm going to save it in this directory also so i'll say dash o now say qc underscore report slash and then I'll indicate the name here. So I'll just paste it and then I'll indicate and I'll say underscore filtered so that we will know that this is the QC report for the filtered reads. So let's execute this command. All right, Nanopore has completed its first. So let's do an ls into the qc underscore report directory. And we are going to find our directory there. Yeah, so that's it. So that's the output. So you can ls into it also. And then check the files out. So we have them here. So we are going to also check these files using our file manager. So let's do that now. All right, so we have the output here. So again, you can check the summary statistics in the test file, but I'll use the HTML file. So I'll open it now. So I have that also here. So what we are going to do is to compare what we have in the new output, the new result that's for the filtered ones to this one here, and then see the outputs. So let's do that. The guide tutorial has already combined those two reports so we can find them here. So this is what we have. Let's even check ours. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we have them here. So you can compare them so let's compare and we also have some questions and then some solutions here so these questions are about the reports here and so i will encourage you to check them and then just read them so we have this first question it says what is the increase of your median read length so if you compare there's the read length let's just check so there's a 60.3 percent increase so let's take a look at the median read length so there's the median read length so we have not filtered that's a raw one and then the filtered which is this one here so in this tutorial um not filtered i put it as raw so i'm using the word raw and then not filtered respectively with respect to the information here so take notes of that all right, I, I repeat. So whenever I say raw data, it's the same as not filtered in the value tutorial here. So take notes of that. All right, so let's look at our reports. So mine is here. So there's the median read length for the raw, that's the not filtered. And then for the filtered, we have that also here. Let's check which is here. So that's what the Galaxy tutorial here reports as the 60.3% increase. So that's what we have. So that means there has been an improvement. So medium read length, the change is 60.3%. So from 3,400 to 5,451. Yeah. So that's what we have here. Okay. 
So that's for the median relent. There are other questions here. It says, what is the decrease in total basis? That one too, we have the answer here. It says minus 2.0 decrease. So it indicates that it's not a very significant decrease. So our data was quite good to start with. So that means even though there was a decrease, it's, it's, it will not really have an impact on our results because the change is very, very small. It's not significant. So um, that's basically what um, this uh, implies. And then we also have what is the coverage. So the coverage here is a measure of, on average, how many reads cover a single base in the genome. And so what the guys tutorial here tells us is that if you divide the total reads, so here the total reads will be the total length. So with the first scale power, you will have several reads. So for each of the reads, you have a length so if you combine all the lengths together if you sum up all the lengths that becomes the total read that's the next tutorial here is making mention of so if you divide the total reads that is the total length by the genome size then you will get a number of how many times your genomes could theoretically be covered by reads that is what this statement simply means and the computation has been done so for the raw data the unfiltered one this was the total length and then divided by the genome size we get 214.4 and then after filtering we get this that's what we have here so uh, this statement also lets us know that comparing the coverage for the raw data to the filtered one there's not much of a big difference in coverage. And so this means that we shouldn't be worried about the downstream analysis with respect to the coverage because before filtering and after filtering, the difference is not that much. It's just this 214.4, this is 210.2. So it's just a little difference. So we shouldn't be worried. So basically that's how we do it. So for the coverage, it's possible to compute it you can use Python R or even Bash. I've tried with Bash, by the way. So it's possible to do that. So try your hands on that and let me get your comments or feedback. If you also want to do that later on, you can always contact me and then we can arrange a session to do that together.